Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Music for Your Bestie and today I'm going to dive into an incredible journey that I've had in my music business and how it has unfolded over the past three years. We're gonna talk about it and get right into it. So it's been a world when the music growth and unforgettable experiences each October has marked a significant milestone, a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and the magic of music. Let's rewind to October 2020. This was the start of it all. This is when I got laid off from my orchestra without having been told this. I just never got a call back. And I realized that they're back on schedule in October. And I found this out through Facebook. <laughs> This was a starting point and a new beginning. I remember taking that leap of faith and landing my very first solo gig at the Pittman Hotel in Dallas on New Year's Eve. The mix of excitement and nervous energy was palpable, but it marked the beginning of something truly extraordinary. So when I booked this gig and it was a New Year's gig, I was so excited and I felt like this at the time was the best thing I've ever landed as far as a gig. And guess how much I was charging? I was charging $750 for a four hour performance or something like that. And this was on a New Year's Eve. <laughs> October, October like, November, December, everything starts at four figure. So I think it's so cute and um, just adorable that I played a New Year's gig and I brought my whole family and we even spent the night at the hotel. Um, we got a discount for the hotel, but I still paid $99 out of my pocket. But I thought I was killing it and crushing it because I got this solo gig and I was playing at this really, you know, swanky hotel in Dallas in the middle of pandemic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fast forward to October 2021, this was a year of sharing the gift of music. I took it upon myself to share this with the heart of my own community, showing up with live performances that brought joy and harmony to those around me. It was a year of connecting through music, realizing the incredible power that it has to unite, heal, and also inspire. And also during this time, um, 2021, is when I started to pick up a side hustle and it was with a network marketing company and I learned so much. The reason I am able to monetize my social media and have multiple accounts and grow while thriving in my music income career and everything else is just additional revenues of income. I learned to do this through network marketing. And um, it, it was an incredible time. I spent two years learning the ins and outs of social media, hanging out with influencers, getting crazy paid for trips that I won through the company by selling shampoo and learning to network and meet with other entrepreneurs and collaborating in the ways that were synergetic and that brought success and growth for everyone. And it was a really crucial time in my uh, development as um, a solo musician because I didn't really have any other skills and I this is where I learned to understand business models systems duplicating the systems and teaching others how to do the same so honestly if you guys ever want to try network marketing you will learn so much on sales marketing social media and just how to network and talk with others and um, grow an amazing community full of other like-minded women. And that's what came out of during this time. I had gigs here and there, maybe one or two a month, but otherwise I didn't have a whole lot going besides my teaching. So I felt really grateful to have learned as much as I did when um, I didn't has, have as many gigs going on for the first couple of years in my music career as a solo musician. So October 22 brought a pivotal turning point. What started as a solo set at a celebrity chef event evolved into a year-long weekly residency at the Root Southern Table alongside the amazing chef Tiffany Derry. This experience was not only a musical device but a powerful reminder that when passion meets opportunity, something truly special is born. And if you are interested, look into Chef Tiffany's story and how she started um, the Chicken Shack and how it evolved to Root Southern Table today with Tom Foley and opening another restaurant. <laughs> so super exciting things. And this is why I always encourage musicians to 
start collaborating outside of your music circle. I mean, if you're all musicians, what are you bringing to the table? Like, I want to be bringing music to the table. What else you got? That's the type of table I want to be dining at. And so should you. And I want to talk about this opportunity. The reason I was able to get this opportunity when Chef um, Tiffany and Carla Hall had come in to do a collab event um, was because I happened to uh, be a member at Equinox and one of my fitness instructors there that I attend classes uh, for regularly um, is married to the hostess at the Roots Southern Table. And they were looking for some sort of music entertainment that was so special for this amazing red carpet event with Food Network um, celebrity chefs. And my name got pitched and thrown in the hat. And then, so when they inquired about my music services, obviously I already had a proven system onboarding process, all of the contracts and performance agreements. My performance manager slash admin handles all of that. Um, they went to work and boom, 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 one gig went great. And then we signed one more month and another month and a whole year. So repeat referrals, clients are the best. And here we are, October 2023, signing another long-term weekly residency, this time with a national restaurant brand. Okay, this journey so has I'm not only continued, but Fincy. it's gained the momentum, you guys. Um, Constant leads have turned into I additional solo sets, commanding four-figure contracts I am. starting. I am this chapter is a testament to the power of consistency, dedication, and above, above all, believing in one's craft. And you can do it too. So my latest milestone, I talked about it in my last video, and I have reached a new high in my music business as far as income generated. And I'm so thrilled. It took three years. Um, and I think I am happy with this pace and growth because I know that this is scalable because I have been doing nothing but increasing each year. And that's more important to me than volatile up and down months. And because I've had that all through my 20s and no thank you. Now I'm at a point where I get my tax return and that is another huge month. <laughs> Another thing that I want to emphasize, which I, I, I talked about it briefly earlier, is the importance of repeat clients and referrals. This year, I not only play the same gigs that I was hired to play last year, but the same client referred me to their own clients and vendors. And I've doubled and tripled the amount of gigs and income that I did then last year, just from the referrals I've had from the same people that hired me again this year for the same event and additional events. So build a community. That's what you need to do. Start doing one thing right and build a community and treat everyone with the same respect that you would expect to be shown to you wherever you go, despite how they behave, what they believe in, and their own um, shortcomings. This is you and this is for you to get to the places that you need to go. And I hope this was really helpful. Through every chord and every performance, music career Bestie was born. Not just in reach, but in the hearts of those who had the privilege of experiencing success in the music industry. As a mom, as a woman, as a solo artist, and as an Asian American immigrant, it's a reminder that dreams are worth chasing, that hard work pays off, and that the symphony of success is composed one note at a time. Keep it real, you guys. This is Music Career Bestie, and I'll see you next Friday. If you like the stuff that I talked about, and if my personal stories and testimonials have inspired you, definitely subscribe, follow for more, and send this video to someone that you know in your music circle. Thank you so much for watching.